Ah, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Willoughby, please take a seat. Thank you kindly, Pastor. Now, I understand that you have some concerns? Uh, yes. Uh, about your son. Mm. Right. We were wondering, weren't we, dear, whether or not we should kill him. K kill him? Yeah. Or not. You see, he ripped his pants, Pastor. Ripped his... Really not a large problem, is it? You see, I think he shouldn't have done it. Right. Leviticus 10 says clearly tells us that tearing your clothes is an abomination to the Lord. But I hold, on the contrary, that our son's action was a godly one, as the trousers were a polycotton blend. And Leviticus 19, 19 tells us one should never wear a garment made of two kinds of cloth mixed together. Right. You, you think that him tearing his pants was an act of religious observance? I do. I see. But it's worse than that. You don't see it, man. I don't work so much, Luke. But the boy keeps talking dirty, cussing, and talking about doo-doo. Yes. Well, a certain amount of puerile behaviour must be expected from the young Mrs. Willoughby. That alone doesn't warrant murder. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking with our place. But rather thanksgiving. No, don't tell me. Uh, Ephesians 5.3? 5, 5.4. 5, oh, yes, of course. And he ignores our instructions. Proverbs 1.8. Son, heed the instruction of thy father. And if you say not the law of thy mother, but he doesn't listen. Which, as you know, Pastor, from Deuteronomy 21, 21, means all the men of the city should stone him to death with, with stones. stones. Right. And if that's not enough for you, well, we recently caught him watching satanic programs of the television. Things about shellfish. But whatever lies in the seas and the rivers that does not have fins or scales, amongst all the teeming life in the water, and amongst all the living creatures that are in the water, they are detestable things to you. And we caught him talking to false idols. Look at this. Dear. Um, how old is your son? Twenty-four. Oh, right. Well, in that case, let us slay him. 